As young people involved in agriculture, animal systems opportunities are one of the most visible and popular agriculture experiences. While student interest may start with an interest in pets or county fair showing, the skills learned through supervised agricultural experiences and animal systems are directly related to an abundance of real, rewarding careers. Hello, Minnesota FFA. I'm Sarah Schmidt, Vice President of Public Affairs for the Dairy Farmers of AMPI, Associated Milk Producers Incorporated. I'm reaching out to you today from the co-op's headquarters in New Ulm, Minnesota. Our membership includes more than 1,500 family farms located throughout the upper Midwest states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, North and South Dakota. Within that region, the co-op has eight manufacturing plants where 10% of the nation's American type cheese, processed cheese and butter is produced. AMPI's award-winning dairy products are marketed to food service, retail and food ingredient customers. New just last year, the co-op launched its Dinner Bell Creamery brand and accompanying co-op crafted promise. These two pieces highlight more than 50 years of dairy farm families partnering with skilled butter makers and cheese makers. AMPI has long supported FFA through the years and is proud to be part of this important leadership development program. I found my way to a career at AMPI following years of experience in the industry. That experience began on my family's dairy farm just south of Hutchinson, Minnesota. I then graduated from the University of Minnesota with a degree in animal science. My love for dairy cows and the people of this business inspire me every day. My position has provided me the opportunity to advocate on behalf of dairy farmers in Washington, D.C. and share their stories with consumers as we market the co-op's products. We have a wonderful story to share in agriculture, and it takes all of us playing our unique roles to share it. There are many careers in animal agriculture that range from nutritionists to AI technicians to veterinarians to communicators to marketers. Whatever path you choose, know this. Starting in FFA with a strong supervised agricultural experience is a really smart first step. Welcome to the team of Ag Advocates here in Minnesota. We're happy to have you and I look forward to working with you. On behalf of everybody here at AMPI, Good luck as you consider the different directions a fulfilling career in animal agriculture can take. Professionals in animal systems careers have built upon the abilities and perspectives gained through exploratory research, placement, and entrepreneurship projects. All ways our FFA members have grown over the last year. Please help us celebrate our top animal systems students in agri-science and proficiency awards programs. AgriScience projects in the area of animal science tackle questions about health, nutrition, genetics, management, and processing of small animals, aquaculture, livestock, dairy, horses, and poultry. They might study the effects of hormones on meat and milk production or research disease control. Division 1 recognizes individual projects from grades 7 and 8, and in 2020, our first place winner from the Wasika FFA chapter is Carly Hamilton. Carly's project studied how different music genres affect horse heart rate and behavior. Congratulations, Carly. Division three challenges individual researchers in grades nine or 10. In third place is Lindsay Johnson from the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture FFA. Second place is Isabel Gonzalez from the Academy for Science and Agriculture FFA. And first place goes to Taylor Rohner Swart from the Kirkhoven Murdoch Sundberg FFA chapter, whose project focused on what type of feed causes cattle to gain the most weight. Way to go, Taylor. In Division 4, teams of students in grades 9 and 10 work together to tackle their agricultural issue. In second place is Cameron Ferris and Allie Olander from Staples Monley. And congratulations to Colton Converse and Caden Masrick from the Staples Motley FFA chapter for their state winning project focused on the absorbency of different bedding types. Great work. Division 5 highlights the achievements of individuals in grades 11 and 12. From the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture FFA chapter, second place goes to Parker Davis. And we're proud to celebrate Jonas Asplund from the AFSA FFA for their work studying the cleansing properties of urea as our state winner. Congratulations! 
Division VI features teams of scientists in their junior and senior year as they work cooperatively to tackle agricultural questions. This year's first place finishers are Brooke Anderson and Morgan Fearson from the Kirkhoven Murdoch Sundberg FFA chapter. Their work asking how efficient cedars and estrus synchronization are in sheep earned them the top spot. Congratulations. Proficiency Awards recognize years of effort building a supervised agricultural experience. Students focusing on projects and animal systems hone compassion, responsibility, technical skills, and business savvy. The beef production proficiency area requires applicants to use the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market beef. Entrepreneurship students have made their projects work for them. This award is sponsored by Greg, Karen, and Nick Gozen, and our 2020 finalists are Katie Jo Fitzgerald from Triton, Jaden Manum from Morris Area, and Hannah Wickman from Tracy. The 2020 winner is Jaden Manum from Morris Area FFA. Jaden started his entrepreneurship called MMC Calvig. With the help of a USDA youth loan, he purchased four bred cows in the summer and sold their calves to further invest in a large herd. Great job, Jaden. Students competing for the Hormel-sponsored Beef Production Placement Proficiency have put beef management practices to work on herds they don't own. Our top students are Jaden Borman from the Russell Tyler Ruthen chapter, Madison Jester from the Medford FFA chapter, and Noah Rickert from Springfield. And the winner is Jaden Borman from the Russell Tyler Ruthen chapter. Jaden works at Chestnut Angus Creekside Cattle and Borman Farms. He washes and grooms exhibitation and sale animals, including a national champion steer and state fair champion bull. Congratulations, Jaden. If you love show whites, ice cream, or anything with the word latte in it, our next group of students are the ones who make it happen. Dairy production finds students working with nutrition, animal care, and the daily task of milking. Entrepreneurs have built up herds that have truly paid off. This area is sponsored by Minnesota Select Sires. Our state finalists are Ali Dyball from Sibley East, Taylor Fester from Atwater Cosmos Grove City, Brett Poplar from Howard Lake Waverly Winstead. The 2020 winner is Taylor Fester in Atwater Cosmos Grove City FFA. Taylor has been involved with showing cattle in kindergarten. Since then, he has taken on leadership in feeding, medical, and breeding responsibilities. Way to go, Taylor! Many dairy students get their start contributing to operations they don't own. And our next finalists have earned state finalist status in dairy production placement doing exactly that. Sponsored by Midwest Dairy Association, the finalists are Alyssa Humphreys from the Malacca FFA chapter, Bria Keffer from St. Charles, and Gabriella Lang from Martin County West. Congratulations, Alyssa Humphreys of the Malacca FFA chapter. She started her job with Hoffman Dairy in 2016, feeding calves, giving vaccinations, and doing chores. Now she works at the South Dakota State University's Dairy Research and Training Facility, scraping barns, treating mastitis, and operating the facilities. Great work, Alyssa. Diversified livestock production projects showcase students who are passionate about more than one breed of animal. These students master health, nutrition, breeding, and marketing. Sponsored by Minnesota Veterinary Medical Foundation, the 2020 state finalists are Elena Shoot from Aitken, Anthony Shetler from Eden Valley Watkins, and Daniel Williamson from Atwater Cosmos Grove City. And the 2020 winner is Daniel Williamson from Atwater Cosmos Grove City. As an active part of his family farm, he raises sheep and beef and goats, and he engages in the agricultural community by participating in Dairy Knowledge Bowl and Goat Skillathon. Congratulations, Daniel! Equine Science provides students an opportunity to turn what may have started out as a hobby into an opportunity to earn money and prepare for a career. Students train and care for horses in a variety of settings and for a variety of purposes but they all have gained confidence and skill along the way. Equine Science Entrepreneurship recognizes students that own their enterprise is sponsored by Zimpro and the finalists include 
Morgan Johnson from Dawson Boyd, Josie Schumann from United South Central, and Lexi Stock from Sibley East. And our state winner is Morgan Johnson from Dawson Boyd. From a young age, Morgan has been responsible for feeding, tacking up, and caring for her experienced mare. She eventually invested into a three-year-old gilding for a further challenge and more competition. Congratulations, Morgan. The Placement Area Award for Equine Science is sponsored by Central Farm Service. These students have worked to help larger operations succeed in breeding, marketing, and training horses. This year's state finalists are Kiera Carter from Hancock, Courtney Manee from Redwood Valley, and Bailey Reimer from Southwest Metro. Our state winner is Bailey Reimer from Southwest Metro. She works with draft horses, including six horse hitch competitors from across the U.S. and Canada. She shows with Schreiber, Percheron, and Morrison Farms as well as on her own. Congratulations, Bailey. Goat Production is sponsored by Minnesota Veterinary Medical Foundation and represents a growing industry in Minnesota agriculture as consumers seek different products at market. Both dairy and meat goats are considered as part of this proficiency area. And 2020's state finalists include Grady Morse from Miniota, Noah Rickert from Springfield, and Daniel Williamson from the Atwater Cosmos Grove City FFA chapter. And this year's winner is Noah Rickert from Springfield. His project focuses on the boar goats on his farm where he has significant responsibility with kidding, showing, and managing nutrition, animal health, and breeding decisions. Great work, Noah. Minnesota's poultry industry is one of the top ranked in the nation, so it's no surprise there are talented FFA members mastering animal care, biosecurity, and marketing of turkey, chicken, and other fowl. Sponsored by the Minnesota Turkey Council, our top poultry production students are Casey Goldsmith from Chatfield, Lauren Krieger from Kirkhoven Murdoch Sunberg, Caleb Schmidt from Southwest Metro, and our winner is Lauren Krieger from Kirkhoven Murdoch Sunberg. She bought her own laying hens and now sells the eggs. She helped her brother raise 300 laying hens for egg production and meat chickens for butchering. Way to go, Lauren. The James E. and Nancy L. Young's Proficiency Fund sponsors the Sheep Production Proficiency Award in order to recognize students who have passionately raised sheep for the show ring, wolf production, and for market. 2020 finalists are Katie Erickson from Fertile Bell Chami, Michaela Opatz from Springfield, and Anna Ridenauer from Triton. And the state winner is Michaela Opatz from Springfield. Michaela has a herd of 16 sheep that she feeds, waters, and cares for on a daily basis. For her herd that is raised for the show circuit, she also manages money transactions related to feed bills and market sales. Congratulations, Michaela. Small Animal Production Care is sponsored by the Minnesota Veterinary Medical Foundation. Students in this proficiency area produce and market or provide services caring for the well-being of animals not traditionally considered livestock. They may breed rabbits, care for animals in an animal shelter, or groom dogs, but they certainly have mastered skills in animal science. Our state finalists are Brianna Levesay from Owatonna, Haley Lubkees from Princeton, and Leah Luckins from Dassel Cocado. And the 2020 winner is Brianna Levesay from Owatonna. She started her own business in boarding dogs after she saw the overflowing quantity of dogs on weekends at her job. She manages the placement of dogs and managing stress levels and health of each animal. Great job, Brianna. Specialty Animal Production is an award area designed to recognize students with projects working with animals not otherwise featured throughout the Animal System Awards. Sponsored by Ralco, this area allows the recognition of work with alligators, mink, alpacas, and more. And 2020's finalists are Stephanie Christensen from the Buffalo Lake Hector Stewart FFA Chapter, Colby Schroeder from Redwood Valley, and Maggie Wordish from Redwood Valley. And the state winner is Colby Schroeder from Redwood Valley FFA. Colby cares for his family's herd of 35 elk. He is responsible for feeding the herd, velveting the bulls, and assuring herd health by evaluating the animals for chronic waste disease, maintaining nutritious diets, and monitoring animal behavior. Congratulations, Colby. 
Swine Production Proficiency awards recognized students who apply the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market swine in their raw products. Sponsored by Christensen Farms, the 2020 Entrepreneurship Finalists are Emma Erickson from Ferdo Beltrami, Isabel Patterson from Kenyon Wanamingo, and Haley Jane Van Nerden from New London Spicer. This year's state winner is Isabel Patterson from Kenyon Wanamingo. Alongside her sisters, Isabel runs Country Girl Show Pigs, a 40 sow operation that provides local 4-H and FFA members with quality show hogs at an affordable price. Congratulations, Isabel! Swine Production Placement is also sponsored by Christensen Farms and features students who have become integral parts of larger teams working for an employer in the area of swine production. Finalists include Ryan Albrecht from the Maple River FFA Chapter, Andrew Bauman from Springfield, and Allison Schwinger from Fairmont. And the 2020 winner is Ryan Albrecht from Maple River FFA. Working at Prairie View Swine, he raises pigs from 12 to 40 pounds in weight before they are moved to finisher farms. Ryan's responsibilities have grown from basic animal care to administrating vaccinations, managing waste, and supervising others. Great work, Ryan. Our final animal science system winners are in the area of veterinary science. Sponsored by the Minnesota Veterinary Medical Foundation, this award area recognizes students who work with veterinarians in clinical practices, research facilities, colleges, or other settings where they are assisting the veterinarians in performing duties related to the health of people or animals. Finalists include Wyatt Halverson from Thief River Falls and Calissa Wispfenning from Buffalo Lake Hector Stewart. Congratulations to Calissa Wispfenning from the Buffalo Lake Hector Stewart FFA our state winner in veterinary science. She works at Blue Horse Veterinary and Laboratory where she helps clients who bring in turkeys or turkey samples to be tested for salmonella, E. coli, or other illnesses. Way to go, Calissa! Congratulations to each of our winners. First place projects and applications will advance for judging at the national level this summer, but every animal systems experience takes students one step forward towards success in lifestyles and career. If you are interested in a career in animal systems, talk to your agriculture teacher about how to start a supervised agricultural experience that fits in your community and prepares you for the bright futures you deserve. <laughs>